Hey everyone, it's Marcus Sheridan from the Sales Line, and today I want to talk about home pages and how to create effective home pages and home page messaging that gets results. And of course, we're going to start with these happy people at one of my sites, River Pools and Spas. But I want to give I want to give a little bit of background first before we dive too far into this, and that is this. Let me ask you a question. When you go to a website, to a home page, are you more concerned about you, your questions, your needs, your issues as the buyer consumer, or are you more concerned about the company? Well, if you're like 99.9% .9 of all the people in the world, you're more concerned about yourself. Notwithstanding, when you go to most home pages of websites, what do most talk about right from the get-go? Yep, they talk about themselves. Well, the smartest companies, the smartest designers, when it comes to a user experience standpoint, they understand how to create a home page that is built around the user, the consumer. And there's two main elements I just want to hit on today. The first main element is what I call the use statement. The use statement is that main headline that you first read. The use statement should be about you, the consumer, but also you, the business. Now you say, gee, how do I do that? Well, you want to direct that headline towards the person that's coming to the site so that as soon as they read it, they can nod their head and say, yep, this is exactly what I was looking for, that's me, or so that they can say, eh, I don't think this is a good fit. So let me show you examples of these, of, of these headline statements. So with river pools, the headline here is considering an in-ground pool. Now, when I ask you that question, who's that related to? It's, or excuse me, who's that directed to? Of course, it's directed to you as the consumer. And then you see the subtitle, which is as manufacturers and installers of world-class fiberglass pools, we built this site for you. So everything is about you because we understand that 90% of the people that come visit us, they just started thinking about an in-ground pool, they have questions, and that's why our homepage is aligned to that. You also notice a lot of times um, uh, businesses will have sliders as the main image on their homepage. You don't want that. You don't want a lot of confusion. The whole purpose of the home page of your website is to get them to page two. You want them to take an action. And so you need to consider that as you're thinking about the design elements. We want to keep it simple, clean, great messaging, and it starts with that use statement. Let me show you a couple of other companies that have great use statements. One that I love is Salesforce.com. So if you look at Salesforce, once again, their headline statement is directed to you, the visitor. In this case, it's sell smarter with the world's number one CRM solution. This is really slick because you quickly see the problem that they solve, which is they help you to sell smarter, but you also know what they are. They're the world's number one CRM solution. And again, you've got the more leads, less work. They understand very, very clearly the problem that they're solving. And because they understand it, they have expressed it very, very well here. Let's look at an example of a local company. This local company is out of Alaska, and they're called Alaska Sleep Clinic. And their use statement is also excellent. Again, it's directed to you, the visitor. Solve your sleep and snoring problems. Get the rest you need, we can help. Now look what they did there. They specifically hit the major problems. Again, it's about the problems that you're experiencing right now. And so you're saying to yourself, yep, I've been having snoring problems, or man, I just don't feel rested enough. Well, that's why this site with Alaska Sleep Clinic is very, very effective. One more that I want to show you is Copyblogger. So if you look at Copyblogger, they are very, very well known in the content marketing space. They've done so many powerful things, effective things. And if you look at their use statement here, again, one image, one headline, build your authority with powerfully effective content marketing. So you know what they, the problem that they solve is helping people build their authority through content marketing. 
very, very great design. These are three, excuse me, four totally different websites that some are B2B, some are B2C, but you're seeing the same patterns over and over again. So let's continue to talk about what makes an effective homepage. Other than your headline statement, what you want to do is you want to say to yourself, okay, if somebody comes to my site right now, what are the main priorities that they would have? What are the main actions that they would want to take? And you design your homepage according to those priorities. Too often, if you list out the priorities that somebody would have if they come to your homepage and what they would want to do immediately, they don't align with how you designed it. So you want it to be perfectly aligned. So because we understand that 90% of the people that come to our homepage are just starting to research in-ground swimming pools, we have our, as our first call to action, visit our learning center because education is what has made River Pools what it is. And so that's the first thing that we offer up. But here's where we also align ourselves. Next, you have your core buckets, okay? In this case, we design these buckets to once again align with the number one things or actions that people want to take or things that they want to see when they're coming to the site. So, for example, we know that when somebody's thinking about a swimming pool, one of the major things they want to do is look at photos. So that's why it's one of the top five here. Again, first one, get educated on the Learning Center. Second one, view the photo gallery. Third one, we know that people are constantly asking about cost and price. So that is one of the majors that we have front and center. This makes for amazing user experience, and this page here is, when it comes to conversions, unbelievable. Another major question that consumers have is, fiberglass versus vinyl versus concrete pools. And so we know that a lot of people, once they start to think about an in-ground pool, they're trying to figure out, okay, what is the best solution? Should I go fiberglass? Should I go vinyl? It's a big debate, and because it's a major, it's in those first five calls to action. And then the fifth one is request a quote. There's a lot of people that are further down the funnel, and because they're ready to rock and roll, and because they're ready to finally get some information that's specific to them, they want to request a quote. This is aligned with the top five needs of the visitors of our site. One other element that I would suggest that you consider on your homepage always is the social element as well. You want to have social proof if you can on your homepage. Now your homepage shouldn't be too much. In this case with River Pools, it's the education center after the headline, you've got the four main buckets after that first call to action. In our case, we have our pool shapes because that's a major in our industry. And then you have the social proof element where they can read what people are saying. Very cool, very powerful. Look at the way Copy Blogger does it. You have the main headline. Then once you get through that, you've got the social proof element. So right away, they hit you with what these well-known folks, these are leaders in the space, are saying, and now they talk about, okay, if this is a need that you have, you can find it here, and this is their buckets. Now they switch it up, so they have social proof as their second section, and then they have their buckets as their third section. To me, that's not so important. What matters is that they are there, and of course, for copy blogger, they're there, and these are the things that you want to remember as you're setting up a successful homepage. To recap, number one, powerful headline. We call that your use statement. Make it about them so that they can nod their head and say, yep, that's exactly what I'm looking for. But at the same time, help them understand what it is that you do. Second thing, design your buckets, your calls to action based on what they want to do, what actions they want to take. And then finally, Show the social proof. Show them that other people have used your company and what they're saying. If you do that on a psychological level, on a clear messaging and communication level, you will please the user. They'll have a great user experience. They'll probably click further. They'll go on and eventually, hopefully, they'll engage you because you gave them a better user experience than anybody else in your marketplace. And my friends, that is how you can do effective homepage designs.